colonies, somewhere in the pre-Vedic era, my ancestors live. I write poetry deeper than words itself. The saris aren't flowing, and brown isn't exotic. It's a pre-colonial part the Hindus flow so beautifully, the women show their bare backs, and some walked around naked reading pages of the Gama Sutra, and some from head to toe are full of gold, from nuts to the bile the gold shines. The children sit in the veranda reading the families of Aryans and Dravillians, the mothers are cooking and no it's not curry, it's a blend of so many spices mixed with so many lentils. The young girls sit outside, soaking the rays of sun on their golden bodies, with the colour indigo manifesting throughout the world. Years, centuries pass by, it's 1857. Somewhere a young woman awaits for a lover. They send letters to each other, they meet secretly on the banks of Janelle. But they come and make something pure become impure. Poison is placed in their mouths. They are made to hate their tongues, they try and wash away their accent, but it remains. All of a sudden, a country full of gold becomes a home of poverty. And the only way for freedom is partition. The Indus will never see its rivers frothly, freely. Temples, gurdwaras, and masjids bid their farewell. Religion becomes the cause of division. They did what they wanted. Many years later, oceans across, and despite colonization, I live. 